This video is going to demonstrate how to use the features of Google Maps in order to get some information that can be used to verify a customer's identity through their details. For example, a recent customer provided this address when they made their PayPal payment. We can go to maps.google.com to provide that address. And right away, uh, we see some information that matches this address. And it even gives us a phone number specifically for that address, as well as uh, the name of the uh, owner for the property. And we have our Google Map here, which starts out uh, in a view setting which is not uh, very mm, precise. So I'm going to use my mouse scroll wheel to zoom in on this location. And uh, the location has been marked by the letter A. You can see this marker here on the map. Uh, if your mouse does not have a scroll wheel, then you can use this zoom interface on the side of the map. And as I begin to scroll farther and farther in, new information is appearing on the map, uh, such as local businesses. Like uh, over here, there's a place that sells pizza. There's also a church nearby. <coughs> and I can see the names of nearby roads. And a common question uh, which can be asked to verify a customer is to ask them for details about a nearby intersection. And so you can just have this uh, up on your screen and then uh, ask him what the nearest big intersection is. Uh, you could also ask him a question such as saying, I see that uh, the road that you're on begins with the letter O. Can you tell me what the full name of that road is? There is more than one view available in Google Maps. If you go to the top right hand corner, you can switch to either satellite, map, or Terran mode. And through the satellite mode, it is possible to ask a question such as, what color is your house? Or what shape? Uh, in this uh, Incidents, uh, we see that there's a large pentagon shaped building. Hexagram, actually. There's a pool nearby. If we zoom out, it becomes possible to very quickly see what uh, nearby interstates go into town. And so we can say, uh, does Interstate 70 go to town? And if they say yes, then we know that they're lying because there's no 70 on this map. It's 99, and there's a 41, and another nearby landmark that appears is a Sierra National Forest. So I could potentially ask a customer, uh, I could say, I see that there's a national forest nearby to where you live. What is the name of that national forest? They'll probably know the answer. By zooming around and uh, bringing up the Wikipedia view, which is done by uh, going up to more and then selecting Wikipedia, uh, 
I'm able to see that uh, certain things show up. Now, a lot of people under their businesses, and that's to be expected. However, uh, one thing that showed up was the Fresno Chandler Executive Airport. And so I could have asked him, uh, I see that there's an airport nearby. Can you tell me the name of the airport? And if a customer says no, they're unable to provide you with a name, then what you can do is give them a multiple choice question. Uh, for example, this one is called uh, Fresno Chandler Executive Airport. I could say, uh, which one of these names is correct? Uh, the Fresno Kennedy Airport, the Fresno uh, Broadway Executive Airport, or the Fresno Chandler Executive Airport. And of course, uh, because they live in the area, they've probably heard the name before, and they're very likely to recognize that name if they do honestly live in the area. One thing you can do to add extra visibility to interstate roads and also to identify main roads that a customer is likely to be familiar with is to click on the traffic button and then as you can see things become highlighted high traffic areas and as I'm continuing to look at this I also can see that there is a uh, city college nearby and that could be used um, the um, relative location of a landmark uh, can also be used as a quiz uh, question such as I could say I can see that the Fresno City College is nearby is it north east south or west of your location of course the correct answer is north city parks are showing up that's useful <laughs> that's all for now I might add more later